Hey and welcome to this class. In this lesson I'll be running through some of the basic tools and materials that we'll be using in this class. The tools I've opted for in this lesson are very simple as I want a lot of you to be able to take part in this without the need of an iPad or any other complicated materials. I'll be taking you through the tools I'll be using in this lesson but then also some other variations in which you could use. I'll be taking you through the different types of tools depending on your budget and your skill level. The items that I'll be covering in this lesson will be pencil, eraser and paper and I'll be showing you all the different types which you could use. Okay, so let's just get straight into it. Let me show you the ones I'll be using. Firstly, we have the Humble Pencil. This comes in many different grade and hardness levels. Graphite pencils are the most common one which are used in order to create a range of values and shades. Secondly, we have the Eraser. This is used for all sort of purposes. The main one which you may think about will be to erase your line, but it's also used in order to create patterns, textures, and to remove or reduce values in certain areas which you've already created. There's many different erasers which you can use, from kneadable to plastic erasers. They all have different functions where, for example, the kneadable one is good for molding into shapes in order to get into nooks and crannies. And then the plastic one is great for erasing big areas. And finally, let's go on to paper. There's many different papers out there from watercolor to tracing, but in this lesson and this class, we'll be using drawing paper. The main difference between all these papers is firstly the material used and secondly, the weight. The weight of the paper is generally written on the front of the pad. Uh, it's generally comes in grams per square meter. So these are all the materials that I'll be using in this class, but do feel free if you have a drawing tablet or any other equivalents of these tools and materials, then feel free to use them. Say for example, the pencil, the eraser and the paper that can all be done on the iPad on Procreate. So do feel free to follow along if you are using an iPad and you have access to all these tools. Okay, so now that we've gone through all the materials, let's get ready in the next lesson where we're gonna be warming up and using these tools. See you there.